going on guys, Spark here, and we are back with a sustainable fusion reactor for the uh, update and for Minecraft and whatever else has thermal expansion, Greg Tech, and anything else like that in it. I'm joined with Colin here. This is okay. our design. We've been working on it for a while, and it self-sustains and puts out 32,000 EU per tick. So I kind of cut you off while you were saying hi there, Colin. You want to say hi again? <laughs> hey. So I guess the best way to start this is uh, uh, talk about what's over here in the beginning. Uh, we have the aqueous accumulators. We have how many of these guys? Seven? Yep. No, more than seven. We have nine. We have nine aqueous Do accumulators. We? I guess I upgraded it. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really need nine, but we have nine. Um, and these go into these liquid ducts. The liquid ducts uh, hold more water than the build craft pipes do. So that way it just kind of pumps a little bit better. Uh, and then over here we have the liquid transposers that are filling the empty cells that are getting pushed into them and sending them out through a sorting machine. Now you don't actually need to use a sorting machine for this. Uh, you can use a the transposer, is that the right thing that I'm thinking of? Uh, yes. But or filter. Yeah, but you'd have to have a redstone uh, energy source for that, or redstone, a red power source for that. So you'd have to have it on like a sequencer or something. So we just thought for our sake and for the rest of the lag that uh, we wouldn't do that. Just make it a little bit easier by using the sorting machines on this first part. And uh, these go into industrial electrolyzers, which are new in the Greg Tech thing, uh, and they'll hold the uh, electrolyzed water, or they'll make electrolyzed water from the empty cell or from the water cells, and from there it will pump out into a sorting machine. Now this sorting machine also only has one place to go, which is into another industrial electrolyzer, which will transfer the electrolyzed water into hydrogen cells. Um, the next phase makes things a little bit more difficult on our end, um, and that's the, this is where the sorting machines are absolutely necessary. Uh, it'll Since the uh, hydrogen cells make compressed air and empty cells, they need to be sent back into the line or sent into an extractor, so that's what we have set up here. The uh, blue is the hydrogen, and that goes into a uh, centrifuge like we had before, um, and then this empty area over here goes through and up to this cyan colored block here and that's where the uh, compressed air goes and from there the compressed air will be sent into this relay the relay will pump it into the centrifugal extractor and from there it'll be pumped out with all these other blacks or with all the other cells and go back to the beginning here to this relay and this relay will hold the empty cells and push them into these liquid transposers, which then go through the line again. Um, the red line here just is where the empty cells will be pushed out, and they'll go through here and do their own thing. I actually don't think we have that set up right. I think this needs to be set up on black. Which possibly uh, it doesn't matter because they get recolored, I think, right? Uh, they're, they're, they not, they're not going into mm. that. They're just getting... I don't know how intelligent the pipes are. The pipes have shocked me before because this pipe over here is actually very intelligent. Where we are mm. now. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we need to recolor that. So we should switch this to black. Let me get a black paintbrush. I will uh, take care of these. Alright, so while he's doing that, we're going to uh, continue on with this description. Um, so the hydrogen cells will get pumped into these industrial centrifuges. The industrial centrifuges have a 130 second time to make things. So we decided that... That's weird. Um, we decided that it was a good idea to... Uh, 
I guess Colin decided that it was a good idea to uh, set up these relays here. So these will pump out the deuterium cells and the empty cells. The empty cells will go back into the line where they're supposed to. And these relays uh, will hold five, or will wait till they have five deuterium cells. And when they hit five, they will release the five. Four will go into this regulator here. And the other one will get sent through, sent down into this sorting machine, and into this uh, yellow pipe here, into the bottom of the fusion reactor, and made into fusion. And the ones that are pumped into the industrial centrifuges will get pumped into there, and then this will tell them to send the tritium out to a blue source. We actually don't have a blue source here because it's not necessary. They just get pumped there no matter what because that's the only output that they have. And uh, I, I just set off a chain reaction there in case you can't tell. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. There they go. Should be. These uh, black cells should just I wonder what they're doing. They should be going back through there. I think they see... Uh, hmm. Huh. Oh, well. We'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, but, yeah, this will pump the, <laughs> the T-cells into the top. What is it? Tritium? Uh, yeah. And then, once those are done fusing, they'll uh, pump out empty cells and hydrogen cells that will go through this sorting machine here. Um, the hydrogen will go to the only place that it can, which is this uh, relay, and the uh, empty cells will go back through the black pipe and back to where they're supposed to be. And that's right, right? I we believe have... so. One helium Out cell there now. Outputs a helium, yeah. And then once, uh, after a couple seconds, this will pick it up. I'm not sure what the delay is about. I think maybe... No, never mind. There's, as I say, there's not a helium cell in there. We might need to have one helium cell. Uh, it's this mode right here is supposed to give a default color. It usually just takes time when I was watching it. Uh, like if there's no match, that one... Oh, there, there, we, go. there goes. we go. There it goes. Nice. He just tags it with the, the sort of backup color. The off orange color. Um, the pipes. They're back flowing. Yeah, we need to figure out. Let me out. Uh, get a res restriction tube here. It might fix it. Maybe? No. Now they're back flowing again. Hmm. Um, we could set it up so that it goes over like this. Uh, I don't know if we have, I think I may have destroyed the cyan one. You see, it's, that seems to be working. We just need the cyan one again. Oh no, the cyan's there. Never mind, we're good. So are they all funneling properly? They should be now. Yeah. Yeah, there update we go. the system. So total count on machines, we have the nine... Uh, aqueous accumulators that aren't absolutely necessary. I think you'll probably survive with like three. They seem to output very quickly. Uh, we have five of the liquid transposers. And we have four, five, six, seven, fourteen um, industrial electrolyzers. Uh, then there should be fourteen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen centrifuges. 
and another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centrifuges. Um, there's a uh, sorting machine for each one of those, and a lot of pipes and 14 relays, 15 relays. And I think that's pretty much everything that there is to it. But yeah. Completely uh, self-sustaining in terms of both power and materials. Yes, and we'll show you the setup that we have for the fusion reactor. We have the superconductor wire that goes into two superconductors, which then outputs into this wire here. And that wire goes and meets up with the other one and puts it into, we have a matter fabricator that is way up in the air because we were having problems with it exploding. It doesn't seem to be exploding now but I'll give myself some scrap and we'll see if it explodes. I think we had other lines too close to it or something like that. Maybe just us standing on it or something. I don't know, it was exploding earlier, but it's not now. But it's putting through 32,000 EU per tick. You can just see how fast this matter fabricator is running solely off of the fusion reactor. It's rather impressive definitely makes fusion a lot better than what it was before. I don't think the fu I don't think it'll read that. There's a 32 32k. Well, I will have to take a look at that. There we go, 32,768. Now, this will not hook up to glass fiber cable. You cannot put <laughs> uh, glass fiber from the bottom up to here. It has to be its own separate cable that it will have to run into the matter fabricator. Yeah, at uh, the cost of 16 HE transformers, you can put it back into your MFSU, IDSU, AESU um, tier power grade, which is high voltage, 512, but it's a rather a large amount of transformers just to convert down something which is only going to end up going back into something which can take 8192 um, that's just off of one branch too that's if you had four separate uh, superconductors and had wires coming out of each one each one would need to have 16 that is true so you would need a total of 64 MFSUs to downgrade this entire thing to a usable power source for your mainstream. <laughs> it's <laughs> quite a bit of power. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, these um, super condensators here convert down up to 1 million EU a tick into 8192, which is the highest packet amount usable in the game right now, I think. 80, or the uh, quad EV, as he calls it, Greg. But that's the max the matter fabricator will take. So just a separate or a uh, dedicated line for your matter fabricator, and you can have as many as you want, provided that the uh, wire is converted down all to 8192 beforehand. Yep. And it's a very powerful source, and I think we've kind of uh, condensed it a little bit. I don't think we can get it much more condensed than what it is right now. That is true. So... Hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I think we covered everything. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment in my channel or in Collins. I'll try and have a link to his in my description. Description And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, if you could leave a like or a comment, subscribe, whatever, and let us know what you think. I'll see you guys later. Take care.